question once again at about three this morning based on information that we obtained from the victims in this case. The suspect, who was the ex-boyfriend of the, one of the victims, came over to our house this morning here uh, off of West Bewick in uh, South Jennings. Uh, she believed that he was highly intoxicated. Uh, she did observe that he was armed with what she described as a samurai sword in his hand. Uh, at that point, she didn't let him inside the house. She did make contact with him through the door. Uh, she did not call for police at, at that time based on the fact that she didn't hear or see the suspect any longer. However, within the hour, she did hear the suspect make entry into the house. At that point, her, her sister, and her six-year-old child ran to the back of the house and barricaded up in a back bedroom. Uh, shortly after, the suspect did begin knocking on that back bedroom door. He was very agitated, verbally abusive, uh, demanding to let him in. In fear for their safety, they ran out of the back of the house. At that point, the victim called for the police. We arrived on scene. The patrol officer set up a perimeter and summon the assistance of our SWAT officers based on the fact that the suspect was still inside the house.